24, Season 2. This is yet another quick review. Picking up a year and six months after the events of the first season, we find ourselves in the midst of another plot brewing. So yes, that's right. 24 is not set one day after another. It has some logical breaks in between. A bomb rigged to blow is set to detonate in Los Angeles. But not just any bomb, a nuclear bomb. CTU sees fit to bring back a grieving and retired Jack Bauer. Now, at the end of season one, things did not end well for Jack. In turn, he is reclusive, but he still reaches out to his daughter, Kim. And Kim has her own plot going on where she's a nanny for a family that has an abusive family member. George Mason, who was introduced in Season 1, is now the acting director of CCU in place of Jack. With all these changes, we are also introduced to new characters, i.e. Michelle Dessler, who becomes a love interest to Tony Almeida, and the Warner family, who has some involvement in this sinister plot with the nuclear bomb. From the pilot to the very last episode, we watch in long, drawn-out fashion everything coming into place. Where I loved Season 1 for its style, dialogue, plot, characters, and intense sense of desperation, Season 2 makes Season 1 look like an edge-of-your-seat thrill ride. 24 Season 2, for me, and only me, was a weak installment. Say what you will, I know there are some Season 2 lovers out there, I just simply did not care for this plot. From the first hour to the 24th hour, I was either bored, perplexed by the plot, somewhat into what was going on, but overall, I was truly uninterested in season two. I really feel like I need to justify a few things here. In season two, there were a few things that did work for me. The plot line with Jack was by far the best. He was the one that was trying to get to the bottom of who was with the bomb, who had it, who was having linkage to it. It all leads to something, to somewhere, to some company, to somebody who really needs to gain a profit out of this. David Palmer commanded every scene he was in when he was doubted, when he was stalling, when there should have been some movement, when things did not go the way they needed to, he stood firm. Even the new additions, like the Warner family, they all pitch in what they needed to to keep things moving forward. I enjoyed most of them for the most part. But I would say Kim's storyline was as tired as a man coming home from work that had a 9 to 5 shift. Most of the tension is gone as we're only waiting 11 to 12 hours for the bomb to be found, find out who did it, and take the next 12 hours making sure we retaliate towards the right person, maybe country. If that sounds like your cup of tea, then awesome. If you love this season, even more awesome. I didn't dislike this season any more than the run in with the cougar Kim came across. That didn't bother me. All in all, season two isn't nearly as suspenseful or a mile a minute thrill ride like its predecessor. It's more of an espionage thriller with a few interesting characters, fine performances from everyone, but the bomb plot is just a tired old not my cup of tea kind of threat. I'm I'm gonna give 24 season 2 a B minus. So, did you agree or disagree with me? Tell me your praises, tell me your woes. If you like what you've seen here and you want to see more, please subscribe and I will get you more videos of 24, of any other show in general, in the future. Thank you guys so much for watching. Until next time.